So we're on our way to pick up a new car. Are you excited, darling? Well, a bit, not too much. It seems like we were picking up a new car every other day. Now, the excitement has gone. Here it is, the Fiat 500, La Prima. Did I say that right, Dad? Oh, good enough. Good enough, okay. Sexy. Sexy. Well, you have to erase uh, the plate, no, when you do the video. Nah, who cares? Ah, no? Yeah. Do you want to come inside and have a look? It's very nice inside. seems a bit small also my husband told me that the glass would open but uh, I don't think it opens hmm. yeah it's nice it's a bit small the glass I wonder if it was if it's smaller than the normal 500 this is nice The back is very small as always, so it's 500. Eh, we'll see, we'll see. There's no mirror as well on the driver's seat. Are we crazy? Eh, ma guarda. Qua c'è il mirror. Ah. Ma scusa, when I stop the car, I might want to look at myself and see if I have stuff between my teeth or stuff like that. When I'm waiting for my daughter at school uh, before going out and meeting the parents. No? Anyway, we'll see what are all these buttons. A thousand buttons. Mm. I don't know. All next to each other. Hope there's radio control. And now I'm gonna embarrass him. Mm. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Ciao. Fiat 500e in ocean green and it's La Prima and it's just a hatchback it's not the convertible because they do a convertible version so I'll give you a little tour and the design of it is beautiful Look at it, it looks kind of cute but angry at the same time. Now I was hoping we would have a number on here because I thought that, they, that La Prima, I thought was just a limited run of 500, but uh, clearly not. So that's a little bit disappointing, but who cares? Okay, so inside is very spacious and beautiful. This is, I think it's normal leather, unfortunately, but um, if it's eco leather, that'd be great, but I don't think it is. Um, you have quite a nice big sunroof actually it doesn't open though the sunroof so uh, there's disappointment number one for my wife that's the inside let's have a look at the back oh no it's not how you do it there we go now the back is clearly tiny but you know it's a Fiat 500 so what do you expect but still pretty good 
uh, visibility you know the windows are big enough about as big as they can be for a little car like this there's your charging port and it's uh, CCS and it charges up to oh I want to say 84 kilowatts and I might be wrong but something like that there's squishy things go back on there okay let's have a look at the boot which you open somehow up there under there uh, now the, clearly the boot is tiny I mean, it's tiny because you know it is a Fiat 500 you get a type 2 charging lead in there in this little bag um, and it's a very fetching fluorescent yellowy colour you get some gloves always good to have some gloves um, the key is a pebble which I just if I find it they call it the pebble this thing here and you get two this one does all these functions the other one doesn't and they give you these a little thing to hang around your neck if you really want to and in here that's so you can make the other one because the other one they just give you is a tiny little stone or, or something and you can put it in this pebble anyway that's something I have to do this here they give you with La Prima and it's a wall box and apparently it's so easy you can do it yourself and it's just something that you plug into a normal three pin socket um, I mean we don't need it because we've got the zappy we've got a wall box already but uh, yeah, apparently it's easy I mean I'll, I'll have a look later not that I'm actually going to do it this bit here lifts up so let's take that out so here's what you get in there then Um, there's a granny charger, three pin granny charger. That's your normal plug. Um, now I didn't think it came with that actually, so that's, that's a bit of a surprise, so that's good. Um, you've got this for inflating your tires. A little screwdriver. And if you twist that, it looks like this comes out. And then you do get a little bit extra space in here. There you go, you get a bit of space. So that's the boot and it is, you know, it's tiny. Um, so yeah, this colour is ocean green and frankly it looks more green right now for me than it does for you. I think this looks more like blue, but that's the beauty of it because it looks a different colour when the sun shines on it. Very nice, very nice indeed, I think. Okay, so let's turn on the car. There we go, on buttons there. And I was told to put this pebble thing up here, but frankly, it seems to work even if it's in your pocket. The screen up here is really good. All right, well, that's gonna get, that's gonna get annoying, isn't it? All right, I've gotta shut the boot. Yeah, all right, you can shut up. Okay, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Okay, so um, you've got wireless Android Auto and CarPlay, and there's a wireless charging thing as well. The screen is really responsive. I wish, I wish all car navigation screens and everything looked as funky as that, and uh, as quick as that. And this screen here is also very clear, and hallelujah, Fiat, you classy buggers. At least we have battery percentage. Because my God, that drives me crazy if a car doesn't have that. I go into a fit of rage. So, um, electric vehicle, launch EV pages. I don't know why they can't just automatically launch. Why do you have to click another button? Anyway, battery level, estimated time to 100. Charging level, low, high. Yeah, see, I, mean, I don't know what all that is. Schedules, that's good, it's got schedules. Um, power flow, the consumption and climate, things like that. So I'll do that when I go for a little drive at some point, which won't be on this video, by the way. Um, please excuse Dance Monkey. That's my daughter's choice of music. It's certainly not mine. Thank you very much.
Um, okay, so the steering wheel, let's move the camera like that, is, uh, it looks quite classy. Um, you've got lots of these piano black buttons, but you've got your Siri button and all of the rest of it for doing your phone and everything and cruise control, which apparently the cruise control on this is supposed to be really good. So it's got an adaptive cruise, cruise control. And you've got um, controls on the back of the steering wheel, which are going to be a bugger for me to try and record, but let's have a go. Don't know whether you can see that because I can't actually see anything, but you have apparently like changing tracks and volume buttons and things like that there. So that's quite neat. To change gear, you've got these selectors here. I don't like that. I like it when it's all just in a gear stick personally, but uh, you know, it's fine. Um, and then you've got these kind of piano key style switches here in this kind of, in this kind of a bit tacky kind of black and I'm not keen on that. The, uh, the material here is really classy and nice. And uh, yeah, the sunroof is, is properly lovely. Um, volume control here for your, uh, for your entertainment system and everything. So that's nice. Then you've got this E mode. You can do that to change the mode. So you've got normal, Sherpa or range mode. I'm in range at the moment and that's pretty much one pedal driving. It's really good. And you can see it change at the top. E mode, there we go. So you hold down and then Sherpa mode. And you can see it changing at the top. But it's quite a lag on that. It, can you hear me click it? So you have to hold down on it. Yeah, you have to hold down to do it, which is kind of odd. I don't know why, I don't know why it has to be like that. Anyway, Sherpa mode um, does things to increase your efficiency. So it means if you're struggling with the battery, then uh, put it in Sherpa mode and it'll reduce your speed, I think, and things like that. Um, down here, you've got um, an, a USB. In fact, you've got another USB up there. Just there, so you do have two USBs and you've got your 12 volt socket there, and quite quite a deep bit there. If I lift up this armrest, you've got another deep kind of bin in there, which you can't see very well because of the exposure. There we go. So that's all good in the back, then it is, yeah, not much room. The car has an app as well, so. So if you look for Uconnect, because I think it's called Uconnect actually, but if you look for Uconnect, it's, you get this up here and that's not it. It's actually the Fiat app that you want. So I'll get that connected, not now, but I will get that connected and do another video on that, of course. But yeah, if you have any questions uh, that you would like answered, then do let me know in the comments. And um, it's gonna take a little time getting used to the car and all the functions and things like that, but it's quite exciting at the same time. It is just really small. Um, and uh, I think it's, yeah, it shocked Flaviana a bit, that has. So uh, even though we used to have a Fiat 500, we used to have a Fiat 500 Twin Air, and um, so it shouldn't be a surprise, but we were used to the, we're used to the Nero and the Leaf, and they're much bigger cars than this. And we're supposed to be going on a long journey in a couple of days, and uh, yeah, so Flaviana's just thinking that it's not gonna be suitable for that, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please press subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified of other videos. And um, I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now. What do you think there, my love? Fine. Pardon? I think it's fine. You think it's fine?